Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. You know, usually we're in the shop, we're running chainsaws, but today we are gonna be doing some fishing. Hopefully we'll catch something and have something good to show you guys. Got Jake with me. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and uh, stick around, thanks. Hey guys, walking up to our nice little fishing spot here. Came out here yesterday evening, and we did pretty well. I caught a nice bass. I'll put a picture up. It's probably about, oh, 14 inch or so 13 14 inch bass small mouth jake already went for his first cast and uh threw it into the rocks here whoa this rock moved you gotta be quieter than that good golly you gonna go back over to that little spot or you're gonna try from right here all right, let me get up here past you and we'll both, we'll both be throwing up that way, okay? What, buddy? Yeah. I see some, I just saw some minnows. There was one. See the dirt, see how it's kicked up and cloudy? Yeah. Right over to that way? There was something here, you probably startled them walking up. Yeah, man, go for it. What are you doing? You almost hit me, man. <laughs> You're casting up that way. If you want to fish the shore here, you got to go back on the pier. Cast right out that way. Boom. Okay. Well, you scared me. You almost hit me in the leg. <laughs> you almost hit me in the leg with that lure. That would have been bad. We're just doing some top water fishing. Being a little bit louder than I usually like to be, but it's a gorgeous morning. Just after eight, I think it's like quarter after eight. I'd hoped to be out here earlier today, but somebody, somebody slept in. You said you'd be up at six. You didn't get up. So yeah, I did let him sleep, but. Keep throwing right out there in the same spot, buddy. Ah, it's a gorgeous morning. Don't worry, guys. We will cut out a lot of this boring stuff. Hopefully we get something. Have some good content. That would be nice. Good content. Another good content. What's that? Oh yeah, let's not fall in. <laughs> let's not fall in. There's a good throw. That's where I want to be. Ooh, my line's in that tree though. I don't want to be in that tree. Dang it. See that branch moving? I wanted to just be to the left of it. Oh, I'm gonna lose my lure, man. Ah. Nice fish. There we go. Boom. <laughs> it did. There you go, keep popping it like that. Too, too much, too much. Just a little, yep. Yep. That's a good rhythm. That's exactly how you gotta do it right there, the whole time. That was good. Get it right out here. Right out there. Go over your head then, like this. See? You don't have to throw it sideways. So, I had a horrible parent moment last night. Um, Jake asked if we could go fishing. I said yes. His sister came as well, one of her friends. And in the midst of fishing, I, I caught a bass, and we were having a good time. My horrible parent moment was, was mom, mom texted us and said, How did football go, guys? Because she was at work. 
I was in charge of getting him to football. Um, we kind of forgot about football. And, uh, yeah, went fishing. My bad. <laughs> Total accident. Because Jake loves football. And, uh, yeah. Sorry again about that, buddy. I totally slipped my mind. We got out here and we were having a good time and completely forgot. Scatterbrain. You want to go try another spot? Down in that back corner, but with these lures. All right, we're gonna head out to another spot, guys. Be sure to stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so we already walked over here, but I forgot to grab the GoPro. Jake's already down here on the shore throwing in. I left my pole here to run back and grab the camera for us. We know there can be some nice little rock bass down here. Also, another small mouth, but we shall see. There was already somebody here fishing this morning, so he said he already caught a few. We might have might have already missed our shot, but it's all right. We're gonna fish here for a little bit, and then we'll go to the other side. All right, we'll go fish the other side, the other shoreline over there. A few minutes. The only reason why I'm not doing anything underwater is honestly, I just don't feel like dealing with snags today. We do bobbers and worms and lures that dive down, and it always seems like we got so many snags. Dad's constantly fixing snags. Get up, get up, get up. You went in the drink. <laughs> you okay? You okay? <laughs> he fell in the water. I'm probably gonna do the same. This rock's all wobbly. I'm standing on over here. Uh, you all right, buddy? Careful, watch your balance. <laughs> uh, I almost, I almost did that a minute ago. I almost did the same thing. I was on that log down there, and it rolled when I stepped on it. You okay? Yeah, it has and I'm getting off that Yeah, <laughs> well, you almost went for a total swim. What do you want to do? You want to just zip over to the other side? I think we'll have better luck because it's all shady over there. Yeah. All right, guys, stick with us. I know we weren't in this spot long because we forgot to turn the GoPro on and grab it. We're going to move to the other side where it's still nice and shady and uh, hopefully we'll get some fish. All right, guys, we are on the other side of the river now. See how things go, see how we do. We're over there by that big pile on that side. We're fishing over here. Now we're uh, trying this side and we'll see how things go. Hopefully we have some luck. up here keep throwing out there I do a little beach combing while we're out here fishing sometimes some really cool stuff ends up washing up not always, but sometimes. So 
there are some wicked cool pieces over here. Here, set yours down on, on the stuff so it's not getting dirty. Yeah. Yeah, here. And just go down a little bit and throw down the shoreline. I'm gonna move up some, some wood here. Well, Jake grabbed his hook, so he's running to the truck for a Band-Aid. But well, doing a little beach combing while I wait for him, because we're gonna make our way down that way farther. So, looking at some neat driftwood pieces here. Looking for stuff that I can kind of use for lighting, to be honest. I've been doing some lighting. That one's a little bigger and I want to haul out. But this looks like it's got some hollow, hollow spots. I kind of want that piece. Definitely has some cool hollow spots. A bit on the waterlogged side. Good gravy. Even though she's waterlogged, I'll let this thing dry out. I think it'll be worth it. I'm gonna actually just walk it right back to the truck. Nobody else is over here right now, so I have no problem leaving our fishing poles and just walking back. I haven't driven down here because it gets pretty narrow. There's no way to actually turn around. Ants crawling all over me. Whew. This log's got some weight. Man, it's got some really cool hollow spots. How you doing, buddy? Did you get the band-aids? Good. that uh, Jake brought this back for me get that in there where are my keys let me have those so we don't lock them in the truck make sure you put the uh, first aid kit back okay all right man well while he's doing that I guess we'll walk back and grab another couple logs I just set aside Now we do have a big furniture fair coming up. It's going to be in uh, Blue Mountain Lake, New York at the Adirondack Experience or also known as the Adirondack Museum, September 10th and 11th. I'll be there with some high-end rustic furniture, maybe even some of the pieces you're watching me pull out right now. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So if you guys are interested in that, you'll be able to, uh, you know, Maybe have some time and check it out if you're in the area. This piece has some hollow stuff too. And a big old spider that just came at me. <laughs> the joys of grabbing beach stuff. If it's in the water, there's usually no bugs, right? If it's on shore, there's almost definitely bugs. Look at these holes in this thing. I think I'll be able to put some lights in there and this will be pretty darn cool. Big thing though is getting them all back to the house. Hey bud. Hey. And uh, you good? Yeah. All right. Getting pieces like this back to the house and out in the sun to dry. So things can dry out. Hollow out the centers a little bit more and try to leave the natural broken open ends. And uh, hopefully create some cool stuff. Sorry about that camera angle. Uh, the camera was falling down as I was walking. All right, put those logs in the truck. We're gonna fish this way and beach comb this way. Still looking for some hollow pieces. Or neat, cool, neat looking stuff. Mm, spider web. 
right in my face. That one's just broke, not hollow. And a lot of stuff washed up here today. Let's see, we gotta go under this tree. No spider webs this time. I was really hoping there'd be some more hollow logs down here. I'm not seeing anything though that I can use. Maybe this one. That's gonna be a beefy one to carry back. We might be able to take that one with us though. Ooh, dead bird. Gross. Don't step on that dead bird. So don't step on that dead bird right here. Seagull. No idea how he died, but he he must have washed up. He didn't make it. Seagull. Yep. Probably his brother. Probably his brother flying. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey guys, we're back from the river. This is the next day. Uh, I've got everything out here actually where the sun shines for almost the entire day to help dry things out. Now, we had a storm roll through last night, so I had to throw a tarp over stuff because I just don't want it getting any more wet or waterlogged than it already is. And I thought it'd be good to give you guys a, uh, a look at the pieces that I found. So we ended up not catching any fish yesterday, but I got some really cool logs and driftwood pieces for some future projects, hopefully the near future, if they dry out. This piece has some holes that go through it, it's hollowed out inside. Bunch of sand in there, I gotta get it cleaned out, but these holes are all around it. They're all over on each side and things. It looks really cool, there's a little bit of the root system down there still. Really, really neat piece. This piece, though, like I was saying, I think it might be hardwood, but this is super cool. It goes all the way through, hollowed out in the middle, split. I think we're going to put a light in this and let this thing light right up. Now, it's hollowed all the way up through to here. But this thing is about 10 feet long, and I, I just think it's going to be too long for a house or a cabin. So what I may do is cut it down, figure out something to top it with, and cast the end in epoxy and have it be a nice big tall floor lamp that lights up in the middle and then maybe a light at the top we'll see we'll see what happens this piece here isn't fully hollowed but i was thinking it'd be cool hollow it out and the light would shine up i found this thought it looked really cool with all the twists pretty neat for something in the future another log that's not hollow but has a really cool end on it this one's got some hollowedness to it so does this one look pretty cool? This one. Another, another piece with the roots on it still. These are things I see and I'm like, man, I, I know I can make some stuff out of it. You know, whether it's soon or in the near future, or, you know, in a couple years even. But try to get it out here, let it dry out for a bit, and then uh, then we can start working with it. What I will do though maybe today or the next day, is I will dr start drilling out these ends. So, so we'll start drilling up through with a big force inner bit and my big drill, that way they'll dry out better. We'll remove a lot of that material and they'll dry out faster over the next week or so and hopefully they'll be sooner, you know, ready to use much sooner. There's bigger pieces, I'm just I'm not quite sure what I wanna do and I don't wanna jump the gun and cut them down quite yet and realize, crap, I should've left it long, so. We'll see what happens, we'll wait, we'll uh, you know see what, what comes to mind. But yep, this was the haul for the day. No fish, but sometimes that's just the way it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out some videos popping up. I'll see you guys later.